What's happening everybody, The Poets here, hope you're doing well and staying safe. And today's video is a continuation of this build series using the new AM5 platform. So it's going to be an educational series. And in the last video, a lot of you had asked me to uh, show how it's like, or what it's like to clean a CPU water block, specifically this one. This is the Thermaltake uh, Pacific W7 Plus interesting name, but uh, it's a pretty good CPU water block. I used it on a 5950X, and now I'm going to be using it on this, on AM5, the 7950X. Thermaltake did have an upgrade kit, so I showed in a previous, previous video how I installed the upgrade kit on this because it was an AM4 water block. Thermaltake came out with the upgrade kit, now you can use it on AM5. Perfect. But in the last video, I did take this apart to clean it from all the previous you know, fluid that was in there. It was an engineering sample fluid from Thermaltake. I really liked it. Thermaltake, please make this fluid. It's so nice. And, uh, but now, since I did take this apart, it's time to leak test it. Because anytime you take a CPU water block apart, you don't want to just put it on like an expensive motherboard and processor. You want to make sure that the seal is tight. All right, so that's what we're going to do here. And I have a couple of things that I'm going to be doing. So uh, this is basically going to be short runs. Uh, I like to actually use uh, distilled water for my leak testing. Some people will say um, that they really enjoy using like an EK uh, air pressure kit. I don't like those at all. Um, if I was like mass producing a lot of, you know, water cooled PCs, sure, I'd use that kit. Um, and it is reliable, but there's really no substitute to fluid actually going through your system, all the vibrations of the fluid, trying to find a way, because water will find a way. Uh, this pump right here, it's a pump rest combo by Optimus. It's pretty diesel. I really do like this. I used this in my previous uh, flagship build for a long time, for about a year I used this. And uh, it was just powerful. So I'm just gonna be using some uh, soft tubing for this. And this does have uh, uh, sticking things on the end. But with uh, soft tubing, it's quick and easy just to put together a loop, which is nice. And that's gonna allow me to just throw this together, as you can see. I think this is the right size for this one, yep. Make these all tight. Um, and then I have a couple more just for this. So then this, this is ZMT tubing. Excuse me, it's hot today. And I'm just gonna cut this like that. And then try to cut the same size, roughly. There we go. This tubing in particular, the black tubing, this is called ZMT tubing or zero maintenance tubing. Because the benefit of this tubing is you don't have a lot of permeation, meaning it's going to take a very long time for fluid to actually uh, evaporate, basically, through this tubing. Uh, and it's gonna prevent light from actually uh, getting into this and kind of changing the, the, the quality of the fluid that you're using as well. Get in there. All right. So you see how quick it was for me to just throw this together? It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to make sure that this is not going to leak, right? Distilled water, just like that. And I do this in stages. So first, I do fill it up and make sure that there's no initial leaks, especially from the pump press combo because I've been throwing this kind of everywhere. Secondly, and this should have been first, I'm going to move the expensive motherboard and CPU off the table. Be right back. Oop. And as you can see here, we do have a leak from the actual pump. And this is why we do leak testing. So the leak is seemingly coming from all over the place. That's really good to know because I was planning on using this pump res combo again. So now we have to troubleshoot. Look at that, on camera, first leak. But this isn't leaking, which is cool. So let's, uh, let's figure this out. Be right back. 
All right, so what we're going to do is just going to pour this out, creating a mess left and right. Good educational content. So it looks like this may not have been fully screwed in, and that would have been my part, my fault. So let's uh, figure this out. Because this does seem a little loose. And actually, it looks like it may be missing an O-ring. Nope, the O-ring's there. So sometimes you have an, an O-ring like this that maybe just got uh, bent somehow and probably just needs to be cleaned as well. So let's go ahead and clean that. Live footage on YouTube. The poet has a leak. Hence the leak testing video. Ha! I couldn't have planned this better. I guess I could have planned this better. Oh, so another rule of water cooling is make sure you keep some paper towel next to your desk. <laughs> All right. So let me get some fresh fluid. Be right back. I literally just threw out my o ring. And we have this o ring that looks pretty darn good. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on like this. Oops, upside down. Put this on like this. Make sure it's nice and tight. There we go. All right, you're tight. Tight, nice. And oh, look at that. So more fluids coming out of this. Let's make sure that I'm not causing too much of a mess more of a mess and put these back on. So you'll notice here that I uh, instinctively removed the motherboard from the table. How many of you caught that? Because I knew through experience, not that I ever have leaks. This is like a unique, very rare experience. But from doing this for so many years, you just, know to err on the side of caution when it comes to this stuff because one this is just distilled water right so who cares if it leaks two it's annoying when it leaks because now you have to go to the store and buy more paper towels right um, and i like the white paper towels because i can see right away like when things are getting wet and when i'm about to refill things then i just use a fresh batch of paper towels so let's go ahead and do that with the fresh batch. There we go. Okay, so we have this being tight. I do need more underneath here. Because the whole point of this was to see if the Thermaltake W7 Plus was going to leak. But literally this thing I've been like throwing everywhere. So I'm not surprised that it leaks. I moved, right? So whole new space, everything. And this was just like not treated with care. I'm sorry, Optimus. Optimus is the name of the company that makes this. So they did send this to me. I reviewed it a long time ago and I liked it. So now we're back to where we were, except flip flop and Let's put some fluid in here. See what happens. Ooh. So again, distilled water. It'll turn blue over time because I never properly even cleaned this pump rice combo. And so before I even attempt to turn it on, I want to see if we are leaking anywhere. And let me just make sure. I can see everything. Okay, so we're completely dry. Good. Time will tell. All right, so now what we have here is the SATA power cable. And we're gonna, stay. We're gonna plug this into a power supply unit that has a dummy connector on there. So the power supply 
actually thinks it's uh, plugged into a motherboard. So it's not too smart. There we go. And it's just any, I think this is just a EVGA uh, 450 watt. And here we go, turned on. Brilliant. And so at this point, I will add a little bit more fluid. Looking good. I remember when I said it, it was going to turn blue because that's what the previous fluid was and there's remnants of this. I didn't clean this out, out at all. Um, this was completely clean, so some of the blue fluid is going to get into this, but I'm going to be flushing this whole system, the new build, numerous times anyway, uh, because, you know, new, new hardware and all that stuff, you always want to flush a lot. And then you want to use the actual fluid uh, that you intend for that setup. So let's go ahead and put this on. Looking good. Uh, typically, to give some airflow, uh, when you first fill up anything like this, you want to allow it to kind of breathe a little bit. A lot, a lot of these bubbles are just kind of floating around and then they'll come to the top and you want to just kind of let some air and pressure escape. But for this, it seems stable for now. So again, water finds a way. I'm going to let this run for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. And uh, I was very confident with this in terms of how I put it together, and it all looks very good. Um, it was just making sure, because as you can tell, leaks can happen even when you're definitely confident. I was confident in this. I wasn't, wasn't confident in that. This is the closest one I had on the shelf. <sighs> Sigh. All right, so uh, let's let the power of movie magic happen, and I'll come back in the future. And uh, future, future self will tell you my overall thoughts on if this is good. All right, we're back. Uh, still no leaks from the pump rise combo by Optimus. So I guess that was my fault. I must have taken this apart one day and didn't quite screw it on tight uh, because I probably planned on cleaning this, as you can tell with all this bluish tint now that it needs to be clean. And this is looking very good. Uh, no leaks whatsoever. No like little chunks of anything that I may have missed when I cleaned it, which is also very important. That's something you want to look for. So I think we are uh, good to go. Uh, I'll probably just like kind of drain this and fill it a few times just to kind of get it flush since it's kind of out and running. And uh, I'll do that until the fluid gets uh, completely clear. But other than this, the point of this video, leak test your stuff before you slap it on expensive hardware, right? And uh, I think we did a successful job of showing why. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, when it comes to the power supplies, there's stuff like this. You see this like loop thing. It's an extension um, that you just slap on that motherboard part and it shows the uh, motherboard that it's plugged into something correct. There's a paperclip method. I don't like to show that paperclip method because people might like shock themselves or something or burn themselves down. This thing is just like three bucks off of Amazon and I think like Micro Center has them too. So just go ahead and buy those little adapter things. And other than that, I think we're good to go. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show how I'm going to properly apply this on an AM5 processor, specifically the 7950X, because it's not square, it's like spiky type of thing. So uh, there's a different way that um, I believe people should be applying their thermal paste to that. And uh, then of course, we're just gonna begin the, the build process. Well, this is beginning the build process. Water cooling takes some time because you want to make sure that things are not leaking, you've planned everything out, you have the correct adapters from AM4 to AM5 for your CPU water blocks, all that good stuff. But in the end, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, I'm enjoying these longer format videos because I get to say what's ever on my mind and not be regulated to like a 15 second TikTok video. Uh, still making TikToks, still doing giveaways, so make sure you're up on the giveaways and all that stuff. Uh, it's it right now doing giveaways from the month of October. I have a lot of PC hardware that a lot of my partners have been sending me to review and all that stuff. Some I do review, some I don't. I'm not under obligation you know, to review everything. But in the end, um, 
I, I'm, I'm, I need to get rid of some of this stuff. So uh, right now for October, there's a pinned video in my TikTok. And if this is no longer October, you're seeing this five years from now, follow me on all the platforms so you can be aware of all the, uh, the future giveaways as well. So uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe, share and all that good stuff. Peace.